just like an artist creates palettes of all the colours they're going to use before painting onto a canvas, we do the same in lighting. But we don't just do it with colour. We can create palettes for all of the attributes, colour, beam, position and effects. Each attribute on the flex can have 240 palettes each. A single palette can store everything required for each and every fixture to create a particular effect on stage. For example, a single red palette can store all the values needed to turn an LED unit, a CMY fixture, a moving light and a colour scroller red, even though they're all using four completely different methods of getting to that colour. Likewise, a position palette can be created for centre stage, or stage spread, or fan out. So the position can be quickly recalled by simply selecting the fixtures and touching the palette. Flex can automatically create palettes. If they're available, this automatically create palettes button will be displayed in the attributes window. Just press it and the palettes are created. These automatic palettes are created on the fixtures you have patched. So it's recommended to fully patch your console before choosing automatically create palettes. To record your own color palette, set up the fixtures required using the encoder wheels and then press record color. Just like when we did this with the groups, this opens the colour window and now we can select any one of these empty spaces on the touchscreen or we can type the spaces number and press enter. We suggest programming all your fixtures into every palette, so all your fixtures red, all of them pointing centre stage etc. As this will make it easier when you come to use the palettes. We can name this palette in the same way as groups too, either typing name and touching the palette you wish to name or by typing syntax commands. We try and make sure both ways around works, so you can type name colour 10 enter or colour 10 name. We type the name into the on-screen keyboard and press enter or OK to confirm. When using palettes, only the selected fixtures will move to the values stored within that palette. This means you can have a single palette of everything red, but then only select a small number of fixtures to actually go red. To use a palette, select a fixture or group of fixtures and then choose a palette on the internal touchscreen or enter the command color 20 enter. The fixtures will change to the color they were in when the palette was stored. If you select a fixture that was not actually programmed into the palette originally, the console will look if there are any similar fixtures programmed into the palette and apply those settings. If you use palettes and then record a Q or a UDK, the console will record the palette reference rather than the actual parameter data. This means if you update the palette, all the cues which use that palette will automatically be updated. This is especially useful when touring shows, especially with positions, as it saves you updating each cue individually when you move venue. Sometimes you only want a specific parameter, such as strobe, to be included within the palette, or even a Q or UDK, rather than everything like Gobo 2. To do this, you tag the parameters you want recorded and untag those that you don't want recorded. Changing a parameter on the encoder wheel automatically tags it. Tag parameters are shown on the internal touchscreen with a bright background, whereas when it's untagged, it will be shown with a dark background. To manually tag or untag parameters, just touch its box on the touchscreen above the encoder wheel, or hold down the clear button whilst moving the wheel. Only the tagged values with a bright background will be recorded into the palette. All other values will be ignored. Pressing effects and then selecting automatically create effects will create a load of standard effects such as rainbows, figures of eight, iris effects, etc. Just like with palettes, select the fixtures you want to use and then press the effect. On the encoders, you can change the speed and the size of that effect. But currently, all the fixtures are doing exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. So we can apply an offset to the effect so that they go out of sync with each other. Giving each fixture the same offset won't solve this, so we have to fan the offset across the fixtures, so each fixture has a different offset. We do this by holding the shift button and moving the offset wheel. 
These effects can then get recorded straight into a queue, just like everything else, by pressing record enter. If you want to create an effect from scratch, simply select the fixtures and then click the waveforms tab. Here you will see all the parameters of the lights you have selected, such as pan, tilt, color, focus, etc. And you can apply a range of waveforms to these, such as sine waves, ramps, sort of, etc. And give each one its own size, speed and offset. Lastly, macros can be created to access functions of the fixtures you have patched, such as lamp on, lamp off, reset, etc. These can be accessed by pressing macros and telling the console to automatically create macros. Now you just select the fixtures and then choose the macro you want, such as reset.